Good morning. In about a month's time, WordPress 5.9 is going to be released. The thing that's getting all the big news is full site editing, which will allow us to edit our entire sites using the Gutenberg block editor. But there are a raft of improvements coming along with 5.9 just to the Gutenberg block editor. So I picked out my top five and I'm going to go through them now. Right, the first thing I want to show you is the improved list view. It has three big improvements that I think you're going to love. Um, let me show you this. So this is the list view. It's accessed by these three lines up here in the top. And it essentially lets you see the hierarchy of your page that you're working on. So it's a great way that you can see the blocks you've used. Now though, there's three big improvements. The first one is now they're drag and drop. So you can actually just drag these blocks up and down like this. So if I want to drag the image to the top, I can drag it to the top. If I want it to the bottom, I can drag it all the way to the bottom. So it's true drag and drop now. The second thing that I want to show you is they now have these three dots on them, which means you can actually do stuff. So you can you have all the normal settings. So you can do things like duplicate blocks really quickly from here. You can also remove blocks from here. You can also, which I think is really useful, you can insert before, which is sometimes quite useful when you're trying to work in complex layouts and you're struggling to actually click within the page. So that's the second big improvement that you now have these actions right within the list view. And the third one's really, really cool. So the third one is anchor points. So WordPress now, when you create a heading, it will automatically create an anchor point for that heading. So let me just add a heading like so. And can you see how over here it's actually writing in the name of the heading? And if I go to advanced here, you'll see it's automatically created the anchor point. So if you wanted to share that as a link, you know, in your social media or on an email, it's automatically creating these links within your pages. I think it might have some SEO implications as well, but I'm going to look at that in a bit more detail and come back to that one. The other aspect that I really like, and this is going to be great, especially if you're handing over sites to clients where you've got quite complex pages, you can actually write in the HTML anchor here and it'll actually appear over here in the list view. So when you're viewing the list view, it's really clear to you or whoever's using the site uh, what that block is about. Right, the second thing I want to show you is about columns and they've had a big improvement in terms of now you have padding and gutter controls. So they're much more usable in my view. Let me just show you this quickly. So I'm just gonna make sure I select the top level columns block. Can you see this new setting here over on the right, which is block spacing? That's actually the gutter where, because we're talking about two blocks here. So if I set that at naught, can you see how the columns now squish together? Likewise, I could set that wider if I wanted to. So now you have gutter control for the first time which is ace. The second thing is we can now add padding within columns. So if I want to make this column have a bit more breathing space around the text, I can add a padding of 10 and I'll do the same thing for this right one. So columns are getting usable. Right, this next one might feel like a little thing, but it's actually one of my favorite aspects of the new version of WordPress that's coming and that is highlighting. So you see it on quite a few websites. I really love it as an effect where you have you can see it on the screen where you have a background color and you have a text color in front. It just makes the text pop. It's now easy to do in, well, will be in WordPress 5.9 in the new version of Gutenberg. And all you do is highlight the word you want to highlight. Click on this little down icon here, this little icon. And then you'll see there's a new icon at the top that says um, highlight. Click on that and then this will open up. So you've got a text tab and a background tab. You start by setting the text color. I'm going to set that as white. Then you set the background color. I'm going to set that as green. And then you click off and there you go. You've got your nice highlighted text. Right, the final thing I want to show you is the new Block Pattern Explorer. So currently, when you try and find block patterns, they're kind of squeezed within the um, this little panel here and they're very hard to see. But coming in WordPress 5.9 will be a new button that says Explore here that works like this. It opens up a modal and you have a much richer experience of trying to find you know, the design you're after. So block patterns are collections of blocks, pre-designed layouts. So let's say I wanted this one. I can literally just click here and add it to my page. And you'll see it's just a collection of blocks, but the Explorer is gonna make it much, much easier to discover and preview block patterns. So there we go. There's the big improvements coming to the Gutenberg block editor. I hope you found that useful. If you did, hit subscribe because I'm doing tons of Gutenberg block editor videos at the moment. And if you could hit the like button, that would be amazing because it helps spread the word. It also helps feed our cats. Every time you hit the like button, our cats get a little treat. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.